morning, good morning, good morning, my fellow human beings. How are you doing this this fine morning? It is very cold right now here in the central Florida location. I think it's about 49 degrees. Now, before you, you people in the very cold climate say that that's nothing, let me assure you, for me it is, okay? I'm wearing sandals right now. I'm on the all-year sandal-wearing diet, so that's 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 where I'm at right now. So, But it's, it's cool, it's cool. Lots to talk about, lots to communicate about today. I am excited about the release of my new brand, Coco Music. I am so happy I was able to finally put this out into the universe and and manifest a little bit of music. I mean, I've always wanted to do that, and now I did. But it's cool, because I can figure out how to make better music. I, I see now that the the rotation, the closing the loop of, of projects is of paramount importance. So I'm, I'm diverting from very big, monumentous uh, things like making a, a straight up, you know, short film just by myself, which is very difficult. Uh, please do check out my released scenes. So far it's one and two. Uh, three will be coming out shortly, maybe next week. Not sure. But I'm trying to understand how to allocate time. I have no idea how to handle time. I am a professional time waster. Literally, as a paramedic, uh, we would wait <laughs> until our next call. So I would, uh, of course, because of my very lazy nature, I I would get the shift that was super not busy and just mind rot i don't know if you guys have a mind rotted before but i would just you know go through the facebook go through the instagram you know self deprecate deprecating behavior i don't do that anymore though now i well first of all i, I don't have that job you know so so the whole lifestyle is different you know Even though quitting my job has thrown me into a very interesting financial situation, (laughs) um, I must say it is fantastic. I have been able to find my my passions, my, my artistic side has been explored and I every day I'm exploring it and I'm able to to go just a little bit further a little bit deeper and it's oh thank God for this digital revolution this digital blessing these gifts uh, of the future manifesting now in, in the reality I mean it is incredible how how I was able to be a victim of technology And now, due to circumstances, many circumstances, I have been able to shift that into a creative flow, to a consumption of mass just learnings, just incredible learnings. I mean, I have learned so much reading these books and, I mean, really listening to them, uh, you know, and, and, and my gosh, now I'm gonna start the Masterclass series. I feel that it is a very good investment to to do. I am sold with the online class, go at at your own pace, learning from mentors in a digital space rather than physically going and spending huge amounts of time on travel. You know, I remember when I had to go to UCF, the University of Central Florida, and and I was pre-med. And every day, I would, I would, you know, have to get up early, 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 and I was like a super overachiever, you know, so, and I was just driving, what, what like 20 miles there, and, ugh, traffic, ugh, it was so bad, but let me tell you, now I'm grateful, I'm grateful now, 
for me, I think it just took a lot of learning from tough situations to really try to find a, a life that welcomed wellness and faith and keeping in line with our humanistic tendencies and our, our very human needs. I feel that this is very important. Coming to my knees, bowing my head, and surrendering the ego, telling me that I know it all, has also been a key factor in development of a new persona, a much more active person, a, 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 a someone who who I've always wanted to be. I woke up at three in the morning today after seven hours of sleep. I am proud of that. My day was incredibly productive. Working from this digital platform, writing in my journal. Oh my God, what a superpower it is to place the thoughts upon paper, to put it in front of you and see, first and foremost, is it the truth? Why? Why are you writing this? How do you feel? Pure, non-constricted thought flow onto the paper. See what it is that you are feeling. Seeing the goals that you want to manifest. And isn't that the point? Isn't journaling, isn't writing it down the point. It is the first step towards manifestation, towards a dream, a vision becoming a reality. It becomes the mission. How cool, how cool that is. And how grateful I am to, to have that in front of me today and understand that that is there. And that is a tool that must be utilized on a daily basis to take time and do this. Maybe what, 25 minutes? Gets the, gets the, the train rolling, I think. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments section below, or above, or wherever the comments section is. Oh, I love this digital platform. How beautiful it is to be able to communicate to another human being in another place, in another time. What is time? How do we perceive time, how do we value time, how do we move through time, do we trudge through time, do we float through time, do we have a purpose, do we go deeper and deeper and deeper into our thoughts, or do we constrain ourselves with time, what is it? I don't know. But I do know, or at least I, I think I know, that time is valuable. It is valuable. And to a human life, it is finite. I must take my life with grace, with gratitude. I do not want to spill the water of life from my cup. I want to hold it tight and understand that I can only drink so much of it until it is by its very nature gone. Cellular diffusion and breakdown through time is at this moment inevitable. At this moment, 
is. It's true. Science and technology is coming a long way. It is, and 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 I'm very excited to see what happens with with cellular control, with the ability to control cells through stem cell research and other incredible breakthroughs that are happening on a daily basis, especially with the computing power of algorithmic AIs that are able to recreate and even accelerate the evolutionary process of a cell's, a cell's division cycle, right? So, <clears throat> and I think that's what's really cool is when we, when the human race is a, when the human race can replicate nature better than net nature can replicate itself, right? Because it's on a path, it's on an evolutionary path. But if we can, if we can compute evolution and turn up the dial, we can hyper evolve ideas. To what degree? To what offset? Right? Like what? Where is it going? Where is it going? Right? I suppose experimentation is the only, the only way to see, to find out. Only time itself will tell. Oh, how exciting that is. If you're excited, I want to hear about it. I want to know your thoughts. I want you to tell me what you think. I want to learn as much as possible. Guys, please feel free to share any books, any resources, anything you want. I'm getting way off topic, getting really deep, probably uh, don't make too much sense. Probably what, like 50% there, 50% in the clouds, you know, somewhere in the cosmic nebula of thought. Who knows? All I know is I want to be on a trajectory towards the exterior universe. I want to push myself into this next layer, this next bubble, this next edition of my perception of this galaxy. And I, I hope you're, you're down to join me. I'm very excited. I have a lot of plans in the future. An ebook. I think that would be interesting. It would give me the opportunity to write, to thought, deconstruct, and construct, and build a framework for from the past for the future. How does one become the best version of oneself? It's a deep thought. It's a deep thought. Maybe it's one that, and this is just my perception, maybe everyone thinks about, about this. I don't know. I, I, I know that I didn't for many years, and now I do. Or at least I'm trying to every day, man. You know, every day. It's got to be every day. It's got to be. Because that's all we got. Anyway, guys, love ya. Thanks for joining me for another episode of the Coco Show. I do appreciate it. I hope I, hope I am not boring you too much. But if I am, let me know in the comment section below. If you made it to this point in the talk, let me know. I think that's super cool. I mean, I turn, I, you know, I try to listen to these and I can't even make it to the end of my podcast. So, so if you can, wow, that's great. I guess that means I'm going on the right path, but all I know is probability is on my side. So as long as I keep on doing this, I'll be, 
I'll be fine. So, I got the faith, see? See, that's a faith thing. Anyway guys, much love, peace.